we will see how to import leads to CRM systems. So if you go to the lead screen, you will have a button called more action where you can see the import section. So there are three ways to add a lead into the CRM system. One is a manual uh, add lead where you can just manually add a lead or you can if you have an excel sheet you can do an import uh, you can take all the excel data and create a lead into the CRM system or in settings you have option to do automated integrations let's say your website landing page facebook google ads from all these sources you can automatically capture the leads and store it in the system so in this video we are going to specifically see about the import process so if you go to the import section there is an option to download sample file just if you click here you can actually save a sample file and this is a sample that is available in the system so you can see that there are various columns available now based out of your actual uh, excel data you can add a column or delete a column and import the data into the crm i will show you step by step how to do this so let us go to the screen and in the right hand side there are a lot of uh, important instructions that's available for you so one is we support only csv format for importing right so csv is a comma separated value it, you can open this format in excel sheet but this is not dot xls format there is a difference between these two so first this you need to note second so we support up to 10000 records per batch which means let's say you have 25000 records you need to create three files 10000 10000 and 5000 then you can do import like that or if you have bulk uh, data where you can talk to us we will help you out how to do this pretty fast so in the downside you can see a lot of important instruction you can read this instruction these are very important to understand before you import any data so basically uh, i'll just give you a summary of this instruction one is uh, if you want to do a bulk import let's say you want to import 20000 records so instead of directly importing all the record to the system first try with 10 records or 20 records see whether the whole process is working then you create actually import the whole data and uh, if there is a duplicate data the system will use the unique field which is a mobile number to update the record let us say you already have the lead now you are again importing the lead and if the mobile number matches whatever the new data is available in the excel will come into the crm system and in case if you have not put the assigned to value so when you are creating a lead you need to assign the lead to a person right in case you don't assign put the assign to value in the excel sheet so it the the excel data which you are importing will get auto assigned to the person who is importing right and there are certain formats you need to follow so if you have to import a date field time field drop down checkbox you need to follow as per the this method and uh, by default import is available only for admin and manager profile so if you want to restrict import for any of the profiles you can talk to us we will enable that for you and lastly there is a import log available so all the import status you can check in the log so i will explain you and i will show you a complete live step by step process how to do all these things so now we have already downloaded a sample so now we will i have created a sample workout for you so if you see here i have created the lead owner who is assigned to so these are all the people i am going to assign the leads this is the lead name mobile number lead source stage revenue remarks this is the excel data that is available in my hand right now so i want to import this into the crm so what we will do we will go to this import section just press choose file so this is the sample i have made so import sample press next if you see here you will see that in the left side this is the column that you need to map into your CRM. So now if you see the Excel, this is a lead owner, right? Now you need to tell the CRM system that this field is actually mapped to this lead owner here. So I'll show you one sample lead so you will understand 
what mapping is okay now this is a lead owner field right now you need to tell the crm system that excels this particular field has to map to this crm field that is what you are telling here so basically you are mapping the lead owner and you are seeing the sample here see here achilles is a sample the system is showing second you need to map the contact name now contact name is mapped to this one mobile number you map to mobile so likewise you check all these this is the excel column so if you see here excel has got these columns right so you will get all these columns here header name in the file is the excel column this is a crm field name so you map this this is a one time mapping you need to do so if you want to reset all this field mapping if you press this this will get reset now as a company you normally maintain a single format in excel sheet right so every time you don't need to do this mapping so what you do so one first time when you do this mapping just you press this save this field mapping as default which means next time when you log in you will get this mapping automatically done for you so this if you do then you press import so the system will ask for confirmation you yes now you turn records are created the summary is given here so if you see here so you will see all these 10 records created here so akilesh with mobile number 9000 crore 1 is created here and 10 records are created here. this is how you will import a excel sheet into crm so if you want to see how the uh, excel is imported you can go to settings go to administration and you can check for all the import log so this is a sample that we have imported so if you go and click this sample you know that it's 10 records are created and what is the time the import is started and what time it ended all the details will be available here so in case if there is any error it will show all the errors also how many records got missed and what is the status of this error everything it will show here so now the service is success so now let us say in the same excel you need to just assign this all these leads to a single employee called nikita so currently this is assigned to 10 different people now let's say you want to give all these 10 leads to just nikita right what you do is just put nikita's name in all this uh, data now let us go again to the lead screen we'll go and press import choose file choose that particular file press next now since we have already mapped you don't need to even bother it's already saved as default so all we need to do is just import now if you see this not created any new record it just updated all the 10 record so if you see here now all this lead is got reassigned to nikita so if you go here in the import log you can see that the status is success instead of creation it is showing us update record so now what we have done technically is we have just uh, assigned the bulk of leads to a single sales user here same way you can actually change the status and change the source or change whatever you want and re-import into the software so you can see all these imported leads into this section this is how you do the import process the similar way you can do export there is a separate video in which i will explain the export in detail thank you